Good morning, stalkers. Evan here with Stock Music Musician, and there is an exciting announcement breaking right now. Reason 11.2 has been announced and released as of this morning, and it features two really cool new features. One, I think, has been long requested by the uh, Reason 11 community, and one, and one is a cool new player that's available for owners of Reason 11 and Reason 11 Suite. So first let's talk about what these two new features are in 11.2. Then we're gonna turn to sort of what my overall thoughts are on them. But before we go any farther, I wanna let you know that I've got a free mixing template available for Reason 11. I just released this last month. It is a super powerful way to speed up your mixing workflow in Reason 11 and make better sounding mixes. So click below to download it. It's really a nice, powerful tool that I think you'll really appreciate. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this video if you're not for all sorts of new great videos on Reason 11 and how to use these new features that were just released. So what do you think? Do you think Propellerheads did a good job with Reason 11.2? What are you still looking to see in Reason 11? The first feature is MIDI out. Now this is really only going to apply to the MIDI plugin option available under Reason 11. So if you're using Reason as your main DAW, it does actually upgrade the MIDI out player to add a few more options. So it's not purely for the plugin folks, but mainly what it does is it opens a vast world of being able to drag all of the MIDI data generated within Reason into the other devices that are existing in another DAW. And it also lets you get the CV data that's being created in Reason and export it into these other DAWs, which is really powerful. So like, if you've got a Pulsar LFO, you can now use that to actually control filters on a synth in Logic, or you can use the drum pattern that you built in Redrum and drag that onto a, like, drum uh, onto your sequencer in Live. It, offers a ton of flexible possibilities for those of us that have been using Reason more and more as a plugin. And I'm really happy to see that this feature was added. I tend to use Reason as a plugin right now these days. And uh, so I'm really happy to see this. What I will note is it does not add any enhanced levels of MIDI communication within Reason itself. So devices like Contact, for example, that can only operate on one MIDI channel within Reason still will only be able to operate with one MIDI channel in Reason, unfortunately. Okay, now let's turn to the next major part of the release, which is the algorithmic drum machine or a sequencer. Um, and this is really cool, actually. What it does is it lets you generate drum beats from scratch based on algorithms and quickly get into having a background drum part unique to your song. These then map on to your other drum machines, for example, Kong or Rhythmic or the Umph drums if you're in Reason Suite. Uh, and actually Reason 11.2 comes with a lot of cool presets specific now to these. So that's also really a nice little thing they added. Um, but what this lets you do is basically this algorithmic player lets you hit play and figure out the intensity and various patterns of up to eight different drum parts, which are generally going to be, you know, your kick, your snare, your hi-hat, and percussion. And those are the four that are mainly mapped out. And you can not only determine the density of each instrument, but you can choose different rhythm patterns and you can have sort of complementing offsetting rhythms. And so I think this is a really cool approach to algorithmic drumming. I use the drummer tool a lot in Logic to get started. And I think that, algorith that the algorithmic drummer is a really kind of unique propeller head spin on using an algorithmic drummer. It has a lot of cool features that others don't have. CV voltage, the ability to control intensity per drum, 
the ability to, you know, switch out drums, um, and also sort of a kind of random ability to map it to various port points, which I think will create room for a lot of creativity. At the same time, I think it is match it, lacking some things in terms of just predictability and professionality, but it doesn't all have to be about professionalism or all about predictability. I think there's a lot of good stuff to be said for taking a novel and propeller heads approach to things, and I wish they would do that more. That's the thing that, you know, I miss about Reason. Uh, devices used to have funny names like Redrum, uh, for example, or Scream 4. And so, uh, not only is the algorithmic drummer a pun, which I'm glad to see them doing, but it's kind of a cool, quirky way of adding algorithmic drumming, which I think is going to be really useful for a lot of people. And maybe makes it so that Reason 11.2 is the upgrade that makes you want to upgrade to Reason. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use either of these devices. I will be doing stuff on that shortly, so stay tuned and be sure to like and subscribe. But what I do want to note is that just from a developmental framework, I think that I'm glad to see that they're adding to both Reason as a plugin and to Reason as a standalone piece of software. I think that was a really smart move. I'm glad to see that they're getting into algorithms and using those to help us create music because I think for certain things, for certain tasks, algorithms are going to be increasingly useful, speedy for the workflow, um, and they're really going to just help you make more music from your home studio as opposed to having to rely on more people, which is a good or a bad thing. Um, especially drummers, though, they can be really unreliable. So. Just a joke to all my drummer friends out there. Uh, but, um, you know, it's still, it's taking us, it's not taking us any closer to the dream of a full-featured, streamlined, modern DAW workflow. I think these are all really good developments, but it's sort of f frosting on a cake that also needs to be rebaked to mix my metaphors. And so I'm glad to see that they're making these updates. I think this is a really good new piece of content, especially since we didn't really see any new devices when a reason 11 was announced. Um, and at least in the standard version. And I also think that this is only going to make reason more usable as a plugin. Um, I've already used it a, quite a bit extensively and have been really happy with it, but I think this allows you to really tap into some of the fun and creative potential of Reason and combine it with all the cool things built into your other DAWs. But I don't know, what do you think? Do you think this is a step in the right direction? Do you think that they need to double down on the standalone version of Reason? Or do you kind of want to see them just move fully into Reason as a plugin space? I think they're going to be in a difficult situation for the next couple iterations of Reason as they figure out where they want to be, where they want to be on this continuum. But I wish them a lot of luck doing it. I know they're hard at work, and I'm really excited to see what they come up with next. I also want to remind you to download that free template down below so you can start making your mixes and reason pop in less time and I wanted to make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can actually learn how to use Algorithmic Drummer and you can learn how to use the new MIDI out and you can also just sort of learn how to use all the other great features packed into Reason 11 or even previous versions of Reason because most of this stuff applies across all versions. So there we have it, Reason 11.2 it's out today, it's a free download. Go get it while you can, while it's hot off the presses. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to Ryan Harlan for reappearing in this video. I feel like I haven't seen Ryan in a Reason video in a long time, so it's great to see that he's out and about, kicking like a chicken, and that all is well. So hopefully there'll be more great videos from Ryan, because I've always enjoyed those. And 
All right. Be sure to check those out on Reason's website.